Hi and welcome to NACE Local. This week we're here at St David's Boxing Club at the old fire station NACE to speak to European flyweight champion Gary Cully and boxing coach Paul Archibald. What's it been like to represent your country nearly over 10 times now? It's just it's a great achievement to be representing Ireland, so representing your country and a captain Ireland as well last year, so that was probably the biggest thing so far. Run us through a typical week for yourself. What's your training schedule like? Um, well, I'd be up here probably four, maybe five times a week, and then running. I'd run if I was here, I'd run first to warm up, or else if I'm not in the club, I run every other day. So I'm on it seven days a week training. And then when there's competition coming up, it's twice a day, so right. it gets tough. I took a break there after the Europeans, but before that, I've been going a year and a half, two years on the short league training. So there's competition after competition, just keep getting calls. So you can't take a break, really. You have to be ready all the time. I have to defend my national title now in January. So 11th of January is the national under 18s. I have to win that again and then go to the World Championships, hopefully in April. And then the Youth Olympics next summer is the aim. There's been a bit of buzz around in the newspapers and on the social networks. So how do you feel about that? Ah, it's great to have the support. Like, it's better than having no one up when you're fighting. You need a bit of support there to help you get going and cheer you on. So. And you mentioned before you got to train with Katie Taylor and John Joe Nevin, was it? What was yeah, that like? Was coming up to the Europeans, it was training down the training camp with the seniors. So it was training with Katie, John Joe and Paddy Barnes, all them. So. Did you spar against them? I was sparring Katie and John Joe, yeah, so it's uh, <laughs> Katie's tough, all right, yeah, she's, she's a great boxer, so she's the uh, best in the world. So Finally, you, are you looking for sponsorship at the moment for yourself? Uh, yeah, I am at the moment. I've just I've travel expenses and medical expenses, and I'm still in school doing my leaving cert, so no time for a part-time job running, so training takes up most of the time. So I'm just looking for a bit of help out there to see if the anyone that will help me out. So. Best club in Leinster in 2010. Uh, we had five Leinster champions. Um, out of those five, we won two, two All-Irelands. We had four in the All-Ireland final, contested the final. Two won, two runners up. Regarding sponsorship, I think uh, it would mostly be geared towards Gary Cully. Regarding uh, medical expenses, uh, travel, um, he needs physio, um, probably needs physio every week due to the amount of training that he's done. So anything like that would help. Brilliant to be in this club, one of the best clubs in Ireland. I'm glad that I could train here for the last few years and but hopefully you can get great success for the club and everyone else. It's good for fitness, it's good for friends, good teamwork. Uh, it's also really good to be part of I'm from NACE, all my family from NACE. It's great to be part of it, uh, especially as a girl. Uh, there's a few others now, but when I first joined, I was the only one. Gary's just won the Europeans. He's like two-time All-Ireland champion. It's like really like lifting the club. There's tons of new people joining, so it's really helping. It's even inspiring. Like, yeah, it's good having Gary in the club, with a European champion. It's just like great to look up to him and try and be in his position in a few years. Uh, it's really nice to train beside European champion, and really nice to see what movements does he do and like. What well, like tricks he has in boxing and all that. I haven't seen anyone train harder than him. He's out running every night of the week. He's up here boxing four nights a week at least. He's going to other clubs. He puts in the effort and it's really paid off. I think he'll go even further again now next year. On the 9th of October 8th, Gary Cully arrived at St. David's Boxing Club where he was presented with an award for outstanding achievement. Gary proceeded from St. David's Boxing Club down through the main street of Nace accompanied by a Garda escort and he arrived at the town hall where a civic ceremony was being held for him. He was greeted by family, friends and the public who cheered as he arrived. Gary was greeted at the civic ceremony by NACE Mayor Emer McDade and councillors Rena Bracken, Ger Dunn, Anne Breen, Willie Callaghan and Shamie Moore, who all spoke at the ceremony. He's there now a long time and he's had to come through the whole lot and he's doing terribly well and he's bringing on all the young lads and young O'Neill now as well. That's another one that's been in the day. 
So they're all coming on great. They're at the win in all Ireland and everything. We're getting so many in the, in the club. If we could even get that place made a little bigger, we'd be doing terrible well. But there's a great lot in it. But the lads have to train nearly every night because they have to take so many at, at every night. There were also representatives from the Irish Boxing Association who also said a few words on the night. Uh, it's a great honour, yeah. It's good to get the recognition of the town. It's a great achievement. Just go on to bigger and better things now. Go back training and back at the gym and move on to bigger stuff. But you're like, how could you feel only uh, 200% proud? Like, you know what I mean? He's a good lad. He gives everything. To see a crowd like this turn out, uh, appreciate what he's done. It's just well done, Gary, you know what I mean? It's a very proud and wondrous night here in Nace for our local lad, Gary Cully, who is now our European champion flyweight boxer. We wish him all the very best from nacelocal.ie. What's his name?